Let's go UFO mode around me here. Ready? Look at that thing. Guys, no flight control, no computer, nothing. No flight control. Oh my God, this thing is, if you, if, if you have to experience this, you seriously, you must experience this jet. <laughs> What is happening guys? We have a special day today. Today is the NGAD release day. We have uh, multiple versions of this, of this bird. This amazing, uh, iconic <laughs> and groundbreaking really. Uh, it's a groundbreaking piece of equipment. Um, the, basically the, the, this version here, this is the vector only version is is really the most um groundbreaking uh to to have only thrust vectoring uh in terms of its its flight control surfaces and no traditional you know control surfaces and and to be able to to fly it around and land it and 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 just fly it like an rc jet without any other traditional control surfaces is is pretty pretty unbelievable um and uh, it's just, I'm really excited to release this. Thomas and I have, have worked really hard on this. Um, I originally came up with the original design. I got it flying. And then Thomas came in and did all the refinements to it. He, he actually designed the vector system and all the panel lines and all the details. And he made the canopy fit and he did all this other stuff. And the, the, the servo fitment is, is meticulous. It's an easy build and, it, and, and it's, a, it's a plane that anybody can fly. Any RC pilot that, that can fly an EDF uh, can fly one of these. You just have to remember to keep your uh, throttle at uh, like 20, 30% uh, when you're ready to land. So yeah, this is, uh, this is my maiden for V, this is like V12, I believe we're up to, I think if, if I remember correctly. So V12, um, we've gone through so many revisions. Um, we have a bunch of air fences and a bunch of strakes to keep the uh, to keep the airflow smooth over the over the airframe and to keep it stable. And uh, actually, I haven't flown uh, anything since uh, V1. So I flew V1. I printed two of them and I flew it uh, a whole bunch of times. So I'm actually gonna I'm my my CG is slightly slightly forward right now. So I'm gonna just bring it back. I have a 1500 4S uh, LiPo, a Z, nothing special. And let me get the, uh, the wires back a little bit there. And I am right on the dots, okay. So I'm right on the dots. And I'm gonna just get this thing flying. It is underhand launchable, so hopefully I can do that now. Perfect. Yep. Wow. Good job, Thomas. V12. <laughs> This is literally like a spaceship. You can fly this thing like in just a regular old EDF jet. Wow. Incredible. I'm keeping it in close, guys, because of uh, because I got soccer stuff going on on the left, so I have to keep it in real close. Uh, so forgive me. Um, talk about efficiency. Now this is why it's so groundbreaking. You don't have any deflection um, happening in the air, uh, creating any parasitic drag whatsoever. I'm at 30% throttle, guys. 
30% throttle, 650 gram jet, 4S, and it just, it, it's, it is the most efficient aircraft I've ever, I mean the Bat, the Bat is probably slightly more efficient when they, when the, uh, when the Elevons are not uh, deflecting, but, um, but this one is the, the best like fighter jet in terms of efficiency that I've ever experienced. Unbelievable. It is so good, guys. It is so good. I literally just built this this afternoon. I have not flown it yet. You can see because there's no cracks in it. There's no, there's no repairs. <laughs> I have not flown this thing yet. And it just came off the printer. If you want to get wild with it, you can. So I did turn my rates down a little tiny bit. Keep it in low. It is getting a little bit dark right now. It is incredible. You, this is this is like, look, I'm not I'm not trying to be hyperbolic, and I'm not trying to be exaggeratory, and like I don't want to I don't want to go crazy with this, but I've never seen anyone fly a thrust vector only without flight control. I'm gonna bring this in, so you got to do the toilet ball. Unbelievable, Thomas. Holy moly. Oh, he said it right. You can fly the thing like it's um Oh, there's a drone. You can fly the thing like it's like it's a traditional airplane. You can land it like a traditional jet and you all you have to do is just come in with 20% throttle. You just can't cut the throttle and give yourself some it's it's actually believe it or not in a way um the the wing design and the airframe design allows this thing to be so stable that you're flying this thing on literally just two thrust vectoring flappers. I mean, I, I, I'm still, I'm skies, I'm still pinching myself right now that, that we were able to make this work. And I, I am, oh, look, look at all the room you have in here. I'm gonna move the CG back. Just the hair. It's un, unfreaking believable. The CG marks are are dead on the money. He's got, I've got him a little bit forward. I'm running out of daylight here, guys. Uh, and I'm gonna have, we, there's, uh, you guys probably heard about the, uh, the, uh, the, the hurricane down south and the effects of that, oh, hold on, let's move the CG2 fall back. The effects of that hurricane mean that I am not going to be able to fly Saturday, Sunday, Monday because we're going to have 15 plus mile an hour wind sustained every day. So that's not going to happen. All right, let me uh, let me get my rates, servo side of dual rates, aileron. We're going up to 125. Elevator 125. So I have my rates. This is just two servos directly glued. Direct. Okay. So there are three things. There are three like miracles that happen here. The airframe design, the wing design that allows you to run only thrust vectoring. Okay. That's the first miracle. Second miracle is the direct drive servo system that I kind of pioneered. I've never really seen anybody do it before me. And that is so so intuitive and, and it's such a good feel on your on your finger that it um it allows you to, to do this with the thrust vectoring it wasn't possible really hands off hands off wow dude unbelievable there is nothing there is no plane that I would rather fly. There is not one. This is it. This battery's got some punch.
Wow. Should I bring it into UFO mode? I might as well. It's such a fresh design though. Like a fresh print. I don't, I'm scared to... I usually do this when I, when I have one that's scuffed up. Let's go UFO mode around me here. Ready? Look at that thing. Guys, no flight control, no computer, nothing. No flight control. Oh my God, this thing is, if you, if, if you have to experience this, you seriously, you must experience this jet. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring it in and I'm just gonna, cause I wanna show you guys more landings. So what I do is I bring it in at 50%, 50%, you're gonna go slightly high alpha, bring the, bring the airspeed down a little more, and then just let it glide in. All right, one more quick flight. Close enough. All right, cool. This is a 1300. So 1300 to 1500 is what I prefer. I think Thomas runs a 2200, which is also totally acceptable. Hands off, haven't touched it. I count to three before I have to touch it. Now I'm gonna rip it. Unbelievable. All thrust vectoring. 100% thrust vectoring. And it is the best, the sharpest handling plane, jet, aircraft that I have ever designed. 100%. Ready, let's get a little wild. <laughs> so you could do all your, your thrust vectoring tricks if you want. Unbelievable. All right, it's getting too dark. Got to bring it in. This makes me sad because I'm not out of batteries right now. All right, ready? Just bring it in, loiter. Loiter, loiter, it's smooth as can be. And just bring it in. I probably brought it in a little hard there, but um, that's all you gotta do. Oh, jeez, maybe it was that. <laughs> jeez. All right, guys, um, thank you so much again. I'll just uh, repeat what I just said. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for making this possible for me to do all this stuff. Um, if you are into RC jets, I, can't express enough to you how much you're going to love this. This is, this feel, this 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 experience is just unlike anything else. There's just there's literally nothing like this, and um, and it's absolutely amazing. NGAD all the way, 100%. I'm a vector guy. We have the basic version with uh, just Elevons. And then we have the uh, the vector extension where there's a vector, and then there's an extension right here. That's Thomas's favorite. That gives you a little more control with it when you're off throttle, um, and a little more control overall. So you're not going to have that much 
roll authority where you're going to be able to um, you're going to be able to like do do quick quick rolls. But um, but but overall, I, I like just the the unbelievable raw nature of flying only thrust vectored, and being able to master it is something that's absolutely incredible. So. Um, we have multiple versions available. I'm gonna have this uh, up. Uh, this is Friday night. I'm probably gonna post it on Sunday, Sunday morning. Um, but yeah, guys, seriously, thank you, uh, thank you again, and uh, and I will be back with more flights with the uh, with the end guide. Thanks.